Uh, Fanquist is a third-person shooter, kind of a fast-paced one. Uh, you need a lot of action skills, um, a lot of maneuvering. You got a combat suit on. It's it's great fun. It's great action. It's something completely different from your modern shooters and other third-person shooters. Probably the fact that it's a third-person shooter at the moment because the whole genre is kind of dominated right now by uh, uh, first-person shooters. Then again, uh, Sam, the main character, he's got a battle suit on. It gives him all kind of different uh, abilities. He can do a rocket knee slide, he can do aerial jumps, uh, uh, some, something called like bullet time that you know from other games as well. So it gives him a lot of different uh, techniques and uh, abilities to attack his enemies and to finish the levels. So also it's, it's definitely worth the trouble of playing it through a couple of times because during while you're playing it, you learn a lot of new uh, abilities and how to play and how to, use, how to use your combat suit. So yeah, there will definitely be a lot of uh, stuff in the single player. Vanquish is a single player game only. Uh, always has been right from the start. There were never any questions about or doubts about does it need to be multiplayer or co-op. Platinum Games just wanted to create a, a, a brilliant single player game which is uh, uh, long enough, which can be played through quite a bit to discover all the new things and all your abilities. So no, that's fine. I mean, play the demo on Xbox Live, PSN and, and uh, uh, convince yourself about the quality of the game. It's set in space and also on land. Uh, it's, a, it's a story about Russia and America fighting about energy, energy sources. Um, all kind of new different uh, enemies uh, with uh, ro robotic enemies. It, it's, it's definitely sci-fi. I mean, look at all the, the look at the battle suit Sam's got on. It's got a lot of new features that I don't think America at this point in time already has, so it's, it's, it's definitely sci-fi. The release date is 22nd of October, so it's only three weeks away.